once upon a time, in the Cloister Kingdom, the young farm boy Jack and Princess Isabel were fascinated by the same legend of Eric. Or, thanks to a giant magic bean, the two worlds were connected. What hell? An army of giants eating human flesh from the Celestial Kingdom brought terror to Earth. But the former Valiant King managed to defeat them and restore peace by controlling them with a magic crown. Ten years later, Jack goes to town to sell his horse to support his uncle's farm. There, he sees Isabel and is immediately charmed by the young lady. A group of thugs harassing her, he defends her valiantly by impressing with his courage. Meanwhile, Lord Roderick, an influential and villainous personality, returns to his neighborhood to discover that someone has sneakily robbed him. The monk who committed the burglary is cornered and has to flee. He sees and offers Jack the magic beans he stole from Roderick as security for the horse that gave him a way out. Back at the castle, Isabel argues with her father, King Bromwell, who wants to explore the kingdom, but he wants her to stay and marry Roderick against her wishes. Similarly, Jack's uncle scolds him for being stupid in his selling before throwing the beans on the ground and leaving the house. Determined to be free, the princess sneaks out of the castle and seeks shelter from the rain in Jack's house. As it rains heavily and the two become acquainted, one of the beans takes root and grows into a huge beanstalk that carries the house, Jack and Isabel, into the sky. Trapped outside, he falls dangerously to the ground. While everyone is in awe of the giant plant reaching up to the sky, Jack, Roderick, and Roderick's servant, Wiki, volunteer to join the King's Knights, led by Elmont and his second-in-command, Craw, and climb the beanstalk in search of Isabel. The ascent is perilous, and at night, the rain and fatigue wear down the body and the vigilance. While climbing high, Roderick and Wiki cowardly cut the safety rope, intentionally killing some of the knights. At the top, they discover monumental sculptures. The immense kingdom of the giants takes shape before them. The expedition begins through this mysterious place and they spot clues left here and there by the captive. To be more efficient, they decide to divide into two groups, one with Jack, Elmont, and Craw, and the other including Roderick and Wicca. On the banks of a river, Jack's group is caught in a trap. The heavy footsteps echo and Jack manages to hide under the water. Kroll makes the sprint of his life, but the terrifying giant catches up with him. Despite their courage, they are taken prisoner except Jack. Meanwhile, Roderick kills one of the knights by a devious trick, when suddenly a colossus eats Wiki. Before he can do the same with Roderick, he puts on the magic crown. Jack follows the giant to their fortress, where the two-headed leader, Fallon, has killed Craw. In a filthy prison, numerous giants question and recognize Isabel's royal earthly lineage. They want to know how to get back down to Earth and devour one of the prisoners who refuses to inform them.
There he finds Isabel and Elmont imprisoned with rabid Colossus. As the behemoths prepare to kill their remaining prisoners, Roderick enters and enslaves the giants to the ground with the crown. He tells his monstrous servants that they will attack Cloister at dawn and allows them to eat Isabel and Elmont to prepare for war. Then we see Elmont being carefully cooked by the local cordon blue. Jack steps in and frees Elmont as one of the giants prepares to stuff him like a pig. <laughs> He confronts him and succeeds in killing him by courageously spearing him, saving Isabel from this disastrous fate. The trio comfort each other, get closer and head towards the beanstalk. Access is controlled by a huge sleeping armored behemoth that is supposed to guard the edge of the kingdom. They trap the giant with bees and against all odds, they succeed in bringing him down. He crashes with all his weight in front of the stunned waiting humans. Seeing the body, Bromwell orders the bean to be cut down to prevent an invasion of these titanic monsters. Jack and Isabel go down at night, while Elmont stays to confront Roderick. The army led by Roderick arrives at the borders of the kingdom, and the attack is launched against the traitor who wants to invade his people. At the risk of his life, Elmont kills Roderick, but Fallon takes the crown before he can claim it. He becomes the new king. The beanstalk is cut down like a tree by humans and falls from the heavens to the earth with a thunderous crash. The three heroes all miraculously survive the fall with perilous stunts. Then the king will duly congratulate Jack and life prepares to resume its course. At the edge of the Kingdom of Heaven, the two-headed giant luckily finds the bag of lost magic seeds. They are immediately put in the water, and we see a number of magic beans spring up, which are stormed and bent by the army, impatient to attack. Happy to have found his horse, Jack sees the reflection of the sky in the trough, Panicked, he raises the alarm by screaming that the giants are arriving on Earth and will attack Cloister. The chase is wild. A tidal wave of titans pursues them towards the castle. Elmont had the moat filled with oil to set it on fire. With a memorable jump, Jack crosses the drawbridge while Fallon falls into the moat and bursts into the castle from below. The siege continues with fiery projectiles tirelessly pounding the castle. At the same time, Fallon searches everywhere and ends up capturing Jack and Isabel. As he prepares to devour them, Jack throws the last bean down his throat. 
causing a beanstalk to tear his body apart. The final assault is launched by the giants who see the magic bean push towards the sky. Defeat seems inevitable when suddenly the attackers dismount. Jack wearing the crown sends the giants back to their kingdom. Jack and Isabel get married and tell the story of the giants to their children. Over time, the magic crown is transformed into the crown of St. Edward and fixed in the Tower of London. Thank you for enjoying this exciting film with us. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell. See you soon on Storytime.